This should be the Tade Pogacar place. I'm on the Kalberg climb in the southern part of the Netherlands a day before the Amstel Gold race. This climb used to be the finish to the Dutch One Day Classic. Now it's the penultimate climb and the perfect launch pad for Tade Pogacar. Why? Well, it comes at the right time in the 252.5 kilometer race, topping out at 234.5 kilometers. So 18 kilometers to race. That includes another climb, the Bummelerberg, which is 700 meters long at 5.6% average and a six kilometer run from there to the finish line. Numbers vary on the length of this climb, which was also used in the World Championships that Philippe Gilbert won. It's around 800 meters long. The steepest portions are at the base of the climb and up here when it goes under the bridge. Pogacar smashed his rivals with a similar solo move two weeks ago in the Tour of Flanders, going solo with around 18 kilometers to go over the Ode Quermont with the Paderberg yet to come and the long run to the finish line. Other riders will have the same idea in mind, attacking on the Kahlberg. And those riders include American and Nilsson Paulus, who also had a good ride in the Tour of Flanders, and Ineos Grenadiers team leader, Tom Pitcock, who last year made a move on the Kahlberg climb to set up the race win for his teammate, Mikhail Kiewakowski. Matthew Vanderpool won here with an amazing last ditch move in 2019 and Walt Van Hart won in 2021 in a photo finish. They're Pogacar's biggest rivals. Well, they won't be racing on Sunday with other objectives down the road. All eyes will be on the two-time Tour de France star Tade Pogacar. Could he pull off a similar Flanders move here on the Kahlberg? I think so, but regardless, expect him to light it up Sunday in the Amstel Gold Race.